Hello everyone. Uh, today's test that we're going to go over is an echocardiogram. Echocardiograms, or as I call them, echoes. I got to go for my echo today, or I'm going for my echo next week. Um, echoes are another easy test that you will have done. Uh, what it is, is if if you've ever seen any kind of movies or known anybody who's been pregnant and you've been in the doctor's office with them, you'll always see the moms in the office and they do this test so they can tell the gender of the baby and they use this wand and they put the gel on the mom and they move it around and they get a picture of the baby and that's called an ultrasound. Well, what an echocardiogram is, it's basically an ultrasound of your heart. So they do the same exact thing, but only they do it to your chest and not your stomach. So what you do is you go to the doctor's office and the tech, um, if you get it done in the office, if you don't get it done in a hospital or wherever else, you know, um, it, it, it varies. In my doctor's office, I have this amazing echo tech and her name is Mary Ann. And Mary Ann's been doing my echoes for quite a few years now and she's awesome. And when you go in, you know, she, um, she does the test, but she does it in a dim light, I guess, so that you're a little relaxed. And I always fall asleep. I always almost fall asleep when I have this test done. But basically you're gonna go in and the tech is gonna tell you um, to take, if you're a female, they, they want you to take your bra off. Uh, if you're a male, I don't, I think they just make you take your shirt off. I don't know. Um, what Marianne does is I just keep my shirt on and then she just lifts it and puts a paper there, a modesty paper. And, um, and that's how she does them. But different places do them differently. Some will make you put on the robe. Um, others, I, I'm not sure. Uh, so that's how I have mine done. I just basically keep my shirt on and she lifts it up and she uses a modesty paper. But so what you do is you lay down on this table and next to you will be the echo tech within arm's reach of you because he or she has to use the wand to look at the heart. I don't know the terminology for the things that they use, but I made up my own term for one of them and we'll get to that. So uh, again, they're gonna put in a bunch of information into the computer and um, then they're going to take the wand and they're gonna put gel on the edge of the wand. And they're gonna take that wand and they're gonna rub it around all the different areas of your chest. Um, with my problem for the aortic valve, she likes to get a picture up here. So she'll take the wand and she'll, she'll dig it in a little bit up here so that you can get a good picture. But they go all over. They, they go all over your chest, under the breast, into the rib cage. Sometimes they'll do it on the bottom by the abdomen. So like, so like here, you know, the, they, they do here. But they basically just rub it around in all different areas to get a picture. So this is them with the wand. They're just rubbing it around all over to get a picture of your heart, a good picture of your heart. And, and they'll stop for a little and they'll record it and you'll get to see it on the screen. You can see your heart beating on the screen. It's pretty awesome. Um, also, they'll, sometimes they'll do voice. So they'll, they'll, they'll keep the wand there and you could hear your heart beating as well. It's pretty neat and kind of relaxing in a way. Um, this test does not hurt. Uh, the only thing that hurts is sometimes they'll use this other wand and it's a skinnier wand and they put the gel at the end and I like to call this wand the rib digger. When I told my friend about it, uh, she said, no, it's more like the boob digger, but I think it's a rib digger because what she does is she takes this wand, in my case, and she digs into the side and, and tries to get a picture. And if you take your fist like this, and you rub it against your rib, just like that, just rub with all the pressure you can, rub it against your rib, that's about as painful as you're gonna get. It doesn't really hurt, um, but, but it's a pressure and it, that does hurt a little bit. And if the tech is pressing a little too hard, then it can hurt, but you just have to let them know. A lot of times they'll see you'll hold your breath or you'll move or you're, you'll make a, a movement, but they don't know unless you tell them. So uh, if it does hurt you that bad, just say, hey, it hurts, you know, and they'll, they'll lighten up a little bit because sometimes they have to put more pressure to get a better picture of the heart. So, um, so if they're rubbing around at some point anywhere and they press a little too hard and it's in a bone or something and it's hurting you, just say that hurts a little and they'll, they'll say, oh, okay. And they'll either ease up a little bit or they'll say, I just have to press there a little bit longer just to get the picture I need because this is the perfect spot. So, um, but they don't know unless you tell them. 
And that's the extent of the pain you're gonna have from this test. It is not painful at all. It's actually just gross and messy because the gel goes all over your chest and um, basically you're gonna have to be wiping it up with a towel. When I go for the Echoes, I, use, I like to wear a t-shirt because the t-shirt just absorbs what the towel didn't get. So you're gonna wipe down with towel and paper towel to get all that gel off of your chest. But sometimes you're gonna miss areas because sometimes they even go up toward the, the armpit a little bit. Like they just go all around the chest. And the towels don't always pick everything up. So I wear a t-shirt because that just absorbs whatever gel is left. Um, if you are having this test done on a lunch break and you are going to go on your lunch break to go have your echo done, please bring an extra shirt. Do not wear your fancy work blouse or your fancy work shirt. Uh, just make sure you bring an extra shirt because it gets pretty messy. And if you're putting your white blouse on or your nice little, you know, silk blouse, or if you're wearing your, you know, one of those nice button up shirts, if you're a guy, if you don't get all of the gel, you'll have gel marks on your shirt. So the only thing that I suggest is if you are going on a lunch break is to bring a change of clothes. If you're going, you know, just as a normal visit, wear something cotton because cotton's pretty good at absorbing. Um, you know, you don't want to wear anything satiny or anything that is going to, the gel will, it's like wetness and it, it will show up through the, the fine material. Uh, so basically that is all there is to this test. It is an ultrasound of your heart. It is so easy. Um, it's pretty relaxing at times because you're just laying there and they're just getting this picture done. There's no need to be nervous or upset. Um, it's pretty straightforward and it lasts anywhere from, I would say most of the time an echo could last about a half an hour. I, it doesn't usually last too much longer than that but they need to get proper pictures of your heart. So it's gonna take longer than 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I, it's probably been shorter for some people and it's probably been longer for others, but majority of the time when Marianne does mine, it's usually about a half an hour. Uh, so just be ready to go, wear cotton, and I think you'll be fine. Uh, it doesn't hurt at all. Like I said, the extent of the the pain is going to be from them pressing with the wand in your rib or in your boob or where where else or in a in a fatty part. It's it's just that's the extent of the pain. It's just a pressure basically. Uh, so if you have any other questions, you can feel free to comment. Uh, you could subscribe to my channel, and you can watch any. Uh, other videos if you want. I have a couple on there of halter monitors and EKGs. So I hope this test helped you out and I hope if somebody tells you you're going to have to go get an echocardiogram done that you're not too nervous now and that you know what to expect. So thank you for watching my video.